Okay, I'm testing the Wattic 902H again. I keep forgetting to set this recorder into uh, high resolution mode or higher resolution mode. Now, this is a JDX 990 recorder and it seems to have a major problem when you're using the Wattec 902H Starlight camera on it that you tend to get a lot of um, hot spots or blooming um, when you're scanning around with it using the infrared torches. So uh, I did uh, some small modifications to it. I um, located the the AGC pot so I turned the AGC down a little bit because it just had far too much snowing effect under low light conditions and then I modified the output of the circuit a little bit by putting a jumper wire in there and uh, it seems to have cleared up the blooming effect so this is the, the test video to show um, the non-blooming effect currently at the moment the automatic gain switch is in the down position so it's uh, on its low light settings. I think it's um, 0 0.02 um, starlight. Yeah, I think it's 0 0.002. Um, so our first test these these trees here, which are pr approximately 60 meters away, and uh, I'll first test them with a 200 milliwatt LED zoomable torch. It's um, it's got a standard type of LED inside it. Now, as you can see by that, it uh, does actually make the distance. It's only only a small 200 milliwatt. It zooms in. I mean, in suburbs of the city, and there is uh, street lighting, which does make the, the sky glow a little bit, so it's not totally dark. But, uh, that's the 200 milliwatt. It lights it up, zoomable. The next torch we test with it is the 3 watt zoomable torch on the, on the front of the 3 watt zoomable torch I've got a 2 times teleconverter um, mounted on there that 2 times teleconverter actually condenses the beam a little bit more so it's, a, it's an even finer beam, beam. okay so I'll start off with it and as you can see that really lights that tree up at about 60 meters now if I zoom it I can actually focus the elements and you can see the three elements of the of the beam bring it back a little bit and it becomes a floodlight it lights it up very very well it's about 60 meters okay now we'll bring it around into the backyard a little bit and we'll check it out under low light all right, as you can see, it's pretty dark. Pretty dark there. A little bit of light from one of the bedroom windows, which is open just a little bit, but it's still pretty dark. So 200 milliwatt lights up pretty well. Zoom it back out into a flood, and that lights reasonably well. Back in again into a spot. That's pretty good. Alright, now we'll go for the three water. And that's a three watt. It's just a floodlight. That's all the way back. No zoom whatsoever on that. All the way back. And like daylight. And bring it back in. And it's very bright. Now, if I take the camera and I'll aim it up. I'll turn the torch off, I'll aim it up at a, a um, telegraph pole which is approximately 30 metres away and behind that telegraph pole there's a tree which is about another 5 metres that's it up there ok Oops. down a little bit ok start off First, with the 200 milliwatt. 200 milliwatts. Not spectacular, but it still lights it up. Zooms in on it, lights it up. Alright, then we'll go for the. <coughs> pardon me, the 3 watt. 
Okay, like daylight again. Zoom it in. And it just floods it back a bit. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, we'll just have a little bit of a scan around just with the camera. No light. Remember we're on the low low gain setting. Low gain. Record here. Okay, my nervous house around the back. Stars. Stars, electricity tower about 500 meters away. Might not quite be that far, but it's a fair way. 300. Where's all these stars gone? There we go. A little wispy cloud there in the sky as well. Okay, that's about it. All right, now yeah, we'll set the camera down again. Back around to our tree. And we'll turn the gain switch up. Okay. Right, that's the gain up. <clears throat> now remember that I did actually turn the gain pot down a little bit last night. So the AGC is probably a bit lower than what it normally is. But uh, I think with the modification I've done to it on the output stage, it's um, far brighter. All right, 200 milliwatt. LED. Zoom get in. It shows it better, but it also shows the background lighting brighter as well. But uh, it's not too bad. Okay, we'll go to the three watt LED. It's in flood mode and focused. Between focus and flood, you're only going to move it about four millimeters, five millimeters backwards and forwards. That's focused and that's flood. Very nice. That's all the way back, and it's still illuminating it, but not very well. Move it back in again. Beautiful. Okay. We'll come around to our next test position, which is. Telegraph pole and the tree behind it. Okay. And we want the 200 milliwatt. Alright. Spot. Zoom it in a bit further. Still lights it. And we come back out again. Not too bad. And then we'll go for the three water. It's too far. Okay. It's too bright. Bring back the flood a bit. That's pretty good. Alrighty, now we'll drop it down into the backyard again. Pretty bright out there. As you can see, the backyard lit up. Uh, well, not actually lit up, but it shows it far much, far better. A lot snowier now, though. Alright, that's the 200, 200 milliwatt. Bring it out into flood. Pretty bright. Bring it down into zoom. Zooms quite well. Down on the finer zoom. It's pretty bright. 
Okay, now we're going for the 3 watt. We'll start the 3 watt in no zoom at all. There's no zoom. It's just like daylight. And if I zoom it in a bit, it gets pretty bright. All the way into its focus. It's very bright. Very nice. Now if I grab the camera and move it up and down a bit, you'll see how much like daylight it actually is. Alright. That's no zoom at all. So the 3 watt LED does a damn good job. Alright, now as for the blooming, it's the back of the house. We come around there, and that's glass there and shiny. The house itself is, is off white, so it reflects back. I can go right up to zoom. that and no no hot spots at all beautiful now we'll go up to elevate it up so we've got light and dark so we've got the sky and the house I'll refocus that a bit there we go now that would cause a heck of a lot of problems normally and there's none there at all I'll zoom in a bit, get a brighter, even brighter torch. It's just perfect. Back out to flood. I'll go up a bit higher. Sweet. A bit further away, neighbour's house. Look at that. Beautiful. No blooming at all. Beautiful picture. Okay. Alrighty. I'll turn that off. We'll have a look at some stars. And that'll do us, I think. Proved its point. It's perfect. Focus in. That's a pretty big looking star, that one. Focus in on that one. what that one is. Need to brush up on my astronomy. Very bright. And we're still in sense up mode. A little bit of light cloud moving in. You can see it there. You can't see it with the naked eye. The camera shows it up a bit. It's very good. Alrighty. I'll put the camera back down. Thanks for watching.